another warm welcome and this is part one of designing a YouTube Studio Beta video editor to be proud of and just a small disclaimer on the bottom I'm not a YouTube or Google employee I'm Mike Downs who's an enthusiast um, but happens to run the YouTube partner program channel which is youtube.com forward slash Mike Downs so I'm going to go on a quick but leisurely pace through the idea and I'm going to split these videos into maybe at least two or three. So a little bit of background is this is my um, best attempt to convince the YouTube Studio Beta team to build a decent video editor at the studio.youtube.com. In other words, the Studio Beta. The biggest deal here, as you will see during the course of this talk, is simply that YouTube, um, in my opinion, and hopefully to make an argument, is they need to build a video editor that will combine multiple short clips to create a longer saved video. As simple as that really, and I will show you and I will demonstrate um, how it can't be done and how it could be done. So bottom part here about design is that I remember speaking to one of the Google creatives a good few years ago or perhaps I saw it on a video I don't know and it was about this five-year rule and that is that we're very much in 2018 and whatever YouTube or anybody else for that matter are kind of building it takes a lot of time so in five years time we're at 2023 so in other words if you think of the mobile phone that you may be watching this video on or the computer that you own or any hardware or software that's knocking around if you backtrack that to 2013, you might think, oh my goodness, yeah, I remember the phone that I had then or whatever. And it was quite primitive compared to what you've got in your hand or what you're seeing on screen in 2018. So in other words, if YouTube Studio Beta, which is very much a thing at the moment that YouTube are building, try and think about five years ahead that if you could really build it, and for those people who might be something like, I don't know, seven or eight years old, in five years' time, they'll be 13, 14 at the right age to join YouTube officially and make really engaging videos. And so what can we help build for them? Um, what will be available in five years' time? And so really the idea of this whole series that I'm making stems from one thought in my head with a question that I sent to the Creator Insider team. Remember, YouTube's commitment to communicate with the users is working really well at Creator Insider. And my question top left here was, hi Tom, who's who's one of the um, well presenters on the Creator Insider YouTube channel. Hi Tom, I'm making a simple video of nine clips to illustrate the video making process to help other users and almost come to terms with it. Will the new Studio Beta video editor ever have the ability to com combine multiple clips. See the slide, and the slide at the bottom that I've sent Tom here is literally nine clips that stand alone on their own. And I want to see if they can um, be made you know, by YouTube together is a long one video. His answer anyway came back which said, never say never, but it's not on the near term roadmap. So really what I'm getting at here is, um, top right slide, is if you go to the Studio Beta at the moment in one of your videos and then drop back to um, the editor, in other words you open the video and you've got this uh, button down on the left hand side called editor and you click it, what you've got is a timeline with the audio and where you can add screens and things. Now the only ability in here is once your video is uploaded to YouTube, what you can do is you can trim the beginning and the end you can create a split point and then take away like a middle part of your video but you cannot cannot combine more than one clip now if you remember a few years ago we had the old video editor down here remember it had this ability where you could go on and you could combine more than one video on a timeline edit it trim it and save it that is the huge, huge loss in my opinion, which I want to prove in a rational kind of stepped approach, that if and only if the new video editor at Studio Beta had that ability, is there, you know, a need for it? So going on, 
I'm going to say let's make a video right now but as this video is just ticked over the five minute I'm going to stop and then start part two so see you in part two